one thing that all these different kinds of reactivity and aggression have in common is stress. That's, that's usually the underlying cause or lack of cause of the fix. And if we're not willing to reduce the stress levels in our dogs, it can and probably will result in serious health and behavioral issues. And that's, that's really hard to understand, but in my work, I often go to people's homes and I'll have a, a I'll write out a training plan and I'll make a list of suggestions and we'll talk about it. And it's very, it's very common and I understand it. I, the list that I make is in a perfect world. And then what I hear is we can't do that, we won't do that, I can't do that, I can't afford this. And by the time we get to the end of our list, we can't really predict much change. Because if we don't radically reduce their stress, their behavior probably won't radically improve. Trick question, what is the first behavior we must change to help our reactive dogs? We have to change our own. Um, whether the dog is new to you or you've had the dog for a long time, trying to modify their behavior is gonna mean big behavioral changes for us. And I, I just don't know of a way, best practices or not, that that's not gonna be the case. We have, we have to say to ourselves, I'm gonna change my entire life in order to help you, or not. And it's important to remember that every time we interact with our dog, we're changing them, and we're being changed by them. It might be a small drop in a big bucket, but four years later with him, I can't say that you know every single moment what that did, but I'm a way different person, and he's a way different dog. We have changed.